One of the key factors in creating a future human settlement on the moon surface is to create a way to travel to the moon surface. An example of this is the movement of the Apollo astronauts on the surface of the moon during the Apollo mission. They have used rovers. The following are the rovers used by astronauts Apollo 15, 16, and 17. This was named LRV or Lunar Roving Vehicle. The light-powered rover travels about 7.6 kilometers above the moon surface. Also, this rover is an open rover which means it's mandatory to wear an astronaut spacesuit for astronauts. If we come back to the present, NASA hopes to take humans back to the moon in 2024 or 2025. General Motors and Lockheed Martin companies are responsible for designing the lunar rover required for this purpose. Here is a diagram of the lunar rover they hope to produce. Powered by automatic power, the lunar rover will operate as an off-road vehicle on the surface. And these can travel more distance and faster than rovers used in the past. Scientists also hope that this rover is capable of moving to hazardous places dangerous to humans. For example, such rovers could be used to collect ice water in the moon's southern crater. One drawback about this latest rover is that they are also open rovers. That is, astronauts must wear spacesuits. Toyota is preparing to put a closed rover on as an answer to this problem. With pressure inside in this closed rover, the human can travel without wearing a spacesuit. It is possible to wear a suit of some kind in the usual way. They call this six-wheeled rover the Lunar Cruiser. So one day in the future we will be able to ride a Toyota Lunar Cruiser on the surface of the Moon. In the same way we ride a Toyota Land Cruiser on Earth. Give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.